In this Let's Play live stream at Mahjong time, we're going to be playing Taiwanese Mahjong. If you haven't already done so, look in the video description for this quick reference. In here is the scoring. This is helpful if you're new to the game. I'm relatively new to the game, so bear with me as I too reference this tonight. I'm going to try to focus on chows. That's kind of hard for me because I am tempted by honors. If you don't already know, honors are winds and dragons. We'll talk a little more about the game as we go. If you'd like to try out Mahjong Time and you have not done the trial before, there's my email in the video description below. I can send you some information on the VIP trial. Let's play some Mahjong. Welcome to the live stream. How's everybody doing? Hi, Laura. Hi, Dan. Sue and Terry. Terry's here. Terry, have you played uh, Taiwanese Mahjong yet? This is five blocks, five blocks and a pair. Lots of tiles. It overwhelms me. You know, if you feel overwhelmed playing Siamese Mahjong, Taiwanese gives you kind of that same feeling. I'm sure you get used to it, but working with five blocks and a pair, it's a challenge. Hi, Karen, thank you for coming by. Oh, what now, what? Oh no! Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry to hear that, Karen. Oh no, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, so, so sorry. I'll be praying for you and your family. That's, that's horrible, oh my goodness. Please, please don't even give it another thought. Please take care of family, and we'll be thinking of you. Oh, shoot, that's, that's tough. Oh, my goodness, that's painful. Okay, what's your friend's name? Uh, your, your friend's son's name. And what is your, your mother-in-law's name? Malcolm, okay, that's your friend's son. He was fishing, spear fishing, and your mother-in-law's name is Selma. Okay, thank you, Karen. Please take care. We love you. Oh my goodness, that's very, very stressful, goodness. Please, when you're ready, circle back. Let us know how things are going. Okay. All right. Wow. Whew. That is really, really tough. It's very sad. So, so much going on right now. And for that to go on, too. Yikes. Whew. Okay, so I know. Oh my goodness. All right. Let's let's play some Mahjong in Karen's honor tonight. Maybe we can get in some wins for happy thoughts for everybody. Yeah. Hi Mary. How you doing? All right, let's see. I do have an announcement, or not an announcement, but I did post this on the Facebook group. Hopefully, if anyone's looking for us through Facebook, they'll find us. How many of you are new to Taiwanese Mahjong? Why is it so expensive to play? Because they're rounds, so it's four games. So it, wherever you see one round, that's 
four games, or it could even be more because, wait, is this where East Keep, East retains, is there a dealer keep in this, Laura, do you know? I, f I forget, let me see if I have it written on here. The game is played in four rounds, one for each round. If East wins, the dice are kept. So this can be more than four games, I believe. Okay, new to so many tiles. Okay, me too. Uh, well, relatively new anyway. Let's go ahead and join this game. I like playing the, the one round games. This one is called Tai Chung. Tai Chung. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it. That's how I pronounce it. Tai Chung. Oh, I clicked on it. Oh, I can only go an hour tonight. So we can only go till 8. We have Scoshi. Scoshi's at the table. I recognize that name. All right, so if we're going to focus on Chows, because that is usually the path of least resistance, all Chow with flowers or honors is three Thai or Fawn in Mahjong time. You get two Thai or Fawn for winning, and then you do get score for your weight if you have a, a side weight or a closed weight. So with it, some kind of a single weight, I think. Yet any side weight, middle weight, or single weight, any of those will give you another fawn. Fawn and Thai are synonymous at Mahjong time. So we're going to call it a fawn going forward. But when you play the game in person, it's Thai, T-A-I, for a fawn. It's a, it's a pattern value or point. So we'll see if we can do concealed. That is another way to get some value. If you have all chows without flowers or honors. Oh, OK, no honors is another way to get value. So let's see how this goes. So I, it's a lot to remember. I know that's why you want to have this in front of you as you learn how to play because there are a lot of patterns with your win as well as the components of your hand. And then there are a lot of special hands that are carried over from Hong Kong Mahjong with some modifications because there's that extra block. You need four blocks and a pair or five blocks and a pair. The blocks can be either three in a sequence, that's called a chow, or three of a kind and that is called a pung. Because there are four of every tile, you can also have a four of a kind, which is called a Kong. And you get a replacement tile. That is then counted as a block of three. And that way you have the right number of tiles. So as soon as we get some more players, we can play. Oh, Sambino's here. Hi. Welcome. No prevailing wind. Yes, the, the game is, let's see here. At Mahjong time, it's called a round, but there's no value for your seat wind or wind of the round. Any honor, which are winds and dragons, will give you value. So no wind of the round or seat wind value in Taiwanese. Any honor is a fawn. Okay, we need one more player. I'm the young gun at this table. I have a white belt with two green stripes. That means I'm getting close to a green belt. So if I go the path of least resistance, maybe I'll rank up and get a green belt. We shall see. Six points, yep, you gotta qualify to win. Flowers are one fawn each. Laura, can you do you count flowers as part of your six fawn or are those bonus points? Laura's been playing this more than I have, it sounds like. 
So maybe she can answer that question without me having to go look it up. How is this different than Hong Kong Mahjong, Peggy asks. It's another block, and the scoring is a little bit different. So you have five blocks in a pair instead of four blocks in a pair. It's still based on chows and pongs and kongs. Flowers are bonus tiles. There's a link to this quick reference in the video description below. If you download that, you can follow along. There are several ways to get value just by your winning tile. Mainly self-pick. If you're the dealer, you get value there. Also, if you have a closed weight, edge weight, or single weight. So the closed weight would be a tile in the middle to complete a chow, the tile on the edge to complete a chow, like eight, nine, and you need a seven, or seven, eight, and you need a nine. Let's see, seven, eight actually would be a side weight, so that wouldn't work. It'd have to be an eight, nine, needing a seven, or a one, two, needing a three. That would be an edge weight. And then a single weight would be if you're waiting to complete a pair. So those three weights will give you a, some value. Also, if you're concealed, you get a fawn. And if you are concealed and you self-pick, then you get two fawn. That's called fully concealed. So we'll see. Hi, Jingles. I saw your comment under a video today. I just didn't have time to answer it, but welcome to the live stream. Oh, okay. It's been a while for you too, Laura, huh? Let me just Google it since we're waiting for a player. Um, let's see. Taiwanese. Um, no, wait. Now I forgot what we were going to clarify there. Was it dealer keep? Dealer keep, let's see. Okay, that didn't work. Taiwanese rounds. I think I need to do Taiwanese mahjong. Okay, here we go. Uh-oh. Mm. There he goes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, let's see here. Oh, we got our players here, so I, I can't find that answer yet. Okay, so here we go. Flowers are bonus according to the platform. Okay, that's what we were looking for. I thought we were looking for dealer keep. Okay, so here we go. We've got mixed suits. We have chow potential, single honors, we do have half and half with bams and cracks. So we do have a pair in there. We have chow potential three, five, six, chow potential one, two, four, and seven, nine. I say we try for chows here. West win. We have no flowers right now. So if we can play no flowers, that would be really good too, as far as bonus tiles. East wind. Except there is a, a, a pattern here that, speci that specifies all chow, no flowers. All chow, no flowers, no honors. Okay, now there is a dragon, a red dragon. Any pung of honors is a pawn. Look at all these honors going down. Single honors have no value. That's why you see a lot of these going down. Okay, there's a chow in there. One, two, three. Okay, so let's see here. Let's just see how this goes. Oh, thank you, Evelyn. Yes, click like. Like, subscribe, and share. Okay, now there's another chow. Seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, or two, three, four. We have five, six, one, three, and we have a one and a five. Okay, so the red dragon, if we pung that, we would have one fawn for that. 
If we let it go, we would gain a fawn by having no honors. So it's kind of six one half dozen the other. I think I would keep that if we had more cracks than anything else in this case. Um, but we have a potential chow and a pear in there. So let's pass. Let's try to do chows and let the dragon go. We're going to try to do all numbers. And that way we can focus on the efficiency of number tiles. And then we'd qualify for no honors. And at, the, at this time, no flowers. West wind. Okay, so let's just let that red dragon go. And then we'll let the east go. There are two east winds out right now. The thing about chows is you can only claim the discard if it's from the player on your left to complete a chow. Otherwise, you have to self-pick. For Pung, three of a kind, or even a four of a kind, you can claim that discard to complete that block from anybody. Uh-oh, somebody lost connection. Yep, there, that was Riley. Let's see, checking if flowers are bonus tiles or part of the, oh, okay, we already talked about that. Okay, so this is Scoshi. She must be a VIP. You get 60 seconds to log back in. Two bamboos. Okay, here we go. We are on. We have Three isolated bamboos. tiles with one, five, nine, and dots. Nine dots. Pung. Oh, we got someone playing Pungs. Eight bamboos. Pungs typically are take longer to build. Seven dots. Red dragon. I've been told that a good East wind. Ru uh, rule of thumb is Red dragon. five blocks. If you start out with five blocks, play all pung. If you have less than, not five blocks, five pair. If one you start character. out with five pair, okay, one, one crack, that would leave an isolate, two isolated tiles, so we're going to let it go. So there's another pair now. Nine dot is out in a pung. Nine dots. We have one, two, three, three pair dots. right now. Chow. Okay. Uh, Four. Yeah. How are they going to get their score with Pung. mixed suits like that? White dragon. Okay, there's a two. So let's let the one dot go. One dot. We have a one two potential chow there. Eight characters. We have a pair of ones and a pair of sixes, but this six is in the middle of a sequence. We can build up or down with it. Four bamboos. Right now we're, oh, we got a flower. Okay, oh, there we go. Now we have a potential chow in there. So let's let the six bam go. Six bamboos. Seven dots. Oh, oh. Okay, now let's see what they have. Seven fawn. So they have a pung of honors out on a pair. They won for two. That's only four fawns. So the flowers, wait, two, three, four, five. The flowers have to be in that minimum score because they only had, they only had four fawn in their hand. So you can count flowers for your minimum points based on that hand. They only had four four fawn in their in their tiles, so that wouldn't have been enough for the six. So I think that you can win with those tiles. All right, we're gonna have to just try it. We'll 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 see if we get enough flowers, we'll try to win and see what happens. We might get a penalty, but it'll be worth it to figure it out. 
red. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six flowers out. If we, if two more flowers can be used up by everybody else, then we'll have Got some it. value, because no flowers and no honors is an all chow is three fawn all by itself. I don't know if that's necessarily Nine a good thing dancers. though, because Green dragon. you're not going to get any bonus points because all the flowers are used up. Two characters. Okay, we have a keeper. That is a good chow there. So we're going to look at isolated tiles. Let's let the nine bam nine go. Nine bamboos. So we have a pair of one bams again. We have a two three, four, bamboos. five chow. One, two potential chow with cracks. We have a pair of sevens, but here we have a seven, eight, nine Red. chow. So we have two chows in our hand right now. Red dragon. And there's another pair. Nine we have one, two potential chow and four, five potential chow. All chow, no flowers right now. One, two, three, four, five, three six five. flowers out. East wind. Nine dots. Okay, there's another eight. Oh my goodness, we have one, two, three, four pair there. Okay, so let's let... Uh, let's let the two go. Two characters. We have five pair now. Eight bamboo. Okay, now there is a special hand called seven pair, but there's it's tricky because you have to have the seven pair in your hand, and you have to be waiting to complete a pung. That is the only way you can get seven pair. Okay, now there's a pung. Let's let the one go. One character. So we have one, two, three pair right now and a pung. That's not going to help though. Oh, oh wait. Nice. You can use a Kong. You can use a Kong in seven pair. If we get seven another pair. one bam, we should try to play seven pair. Seven dots. There's a three, another pair. Okay, so let's discard the five dot. Oh, We're going to try for seven pair. If we can get that one bam, that would be ideal. One, two, wow. three, four, five pair right now we have. Six bamboos. Pung. Five bamboos. Okay, so we want more pairs. We're not going to claim anything. We're going to stay concealed. North wind. West wind. So we're going to look at what is being discarded and let Pung. those go right now. We have four, five, bam, one, two, four in dots. There's a four dot out Seven in a chow. Bamboos. White dragon. Four bamboos. The flowers are bonus tiles. One dot. Each flower is one point. You don't have to match it to your seat. That's correct. One they are bonus one. tiles. Any instance. Okay, there's another pair. We're looking one good. Four. One, two. Let's see here. Four. We might have to let this one bam go. One, two, three, four, Eight, five, seven. six. We need, we need one more tile in here. Uh... Oh my gosh, this is going to be tricky. One bamboo. We already have a... Okay, so we're, we're, we're of course going to let that go. And we have to be waiting. Oh my gosh. Okay, the ones are out. One dot. We have two concealed pair of uh, pungs now. Red dragon. Three con two concealed pungs is two points. Two fawn. East wind. Let's see, all pung is ten. Two we might be able to do all pung here South wind. as a switch to leverage Seven these dots. pungs. Let's just see what we get. Otherwise, we have to discard them. Six dots. Basically, you need eight pair ready to win on any pung is how it works, I think. White dragon. So there's one two dot out and one five dot, uh, five bam out. Four characters. So we'll just see. 
We have one, two, three, four potential pawns. Oh, we're almost done with this game. Three bamboos. Three. Let's pong. We, we, I don't think we have time to do pairs because we have two discards that way. Here, we're now one away from... No, we're still two away from ready, but we have two concealed pongs. Let's see. No seven, LSE, eight crack. There are no eight cracks out. No nine cracks are out. One, bamboo. four bam is out. Four bamboos. Okay, pung. Pung. All right, now we are ready on a double weight. Five bamboos. We have all pung. All three of a kind. We're ready on an eight Red. crack or a nine crack for all pung and two concealed pungs. Seven bamboos. Nine bamboos. Oh, will Kong. Three bamboos. Kong. Oh, I gave two up that dots. too. Two bamboos. Okay, this one is Taiwanese Mahjong. Five blocks and a pair. The blocks Sounds can weird. be three in a sequence or three of a kind. Seven bamboos. We got Mahjong on the last tile. This is going to be big. 23. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That is big. That's a big one. Wow, that big. Oh, my goodness. That's the biggest hand I've ever had at Taiwanese. Okay, so you need four blocks in a pair, or five blocks in a pair. They can be three in a sequence or three of a kind. Since there's four of every tile, you can have four of a kind. All right, now. Uh, all right, so again, Chow's. Chow's. Chow's is the name of the game unless you are set up four pumps and that would be five pair if you start out with five pair consider doing all pung and if you pair up in time consider seven pair but you've got to get to eight pair so you're ready on a pung seven bamboos that's the kicker let's chow chow south wind white dragon <laughs> yeah. characters. Oh, oh my goodness. I think that was the biggest hand I've ever played at Taiwanese. We're going to keep every number tile. Red dragon. We have only one pair right now, which is good. Sound we have a 678 chow. We have a 678 in cracks Nine and dots. Win. But we also have two potential chows with 5, 6, Nine and 78. Okay, there's a potential good tile there we have a five number run Pung. but we could break that into two different chows you can't have a six well it's really two separate blocks three tiles per block there's another pair let's let's let this two bam go two bamboo so we're going to try to keep the most efficient tiles which are going to be four really three through seven Chow. Three through seven, because you can Nine you can dots. run the sequence up or down. We're not going to take that. Half flesh, yes, half flesh is my favorite. Two characters. But with Taiwanese, it, unless you start out with a lot of one suit, that's one that's character. a tall order. Okay, there's a good potential chow in there. We have a pair of nines there. Let's let the seven bam or eight, eight bam go. Bamboos. So we have a little redundancy here with the six dot and nine dot. Maybe we'll see. We have three potential chows, two potential chows in there. We're one away from ready at the moment. I think the six dot or nine dot can go. Two bamboos. Seven, eight, nine, six, seven, eight, nine. Pair sixes or six, seven, eight, pair of nines. 
one character. Six bamboo. Since everybody has so many tiles, this is a pretty quick game. Eight characters. We already have a six, seven, eight. So I would not take that. There's a four, five, six. So we're going to let the six dot go. And we're ready to win on a three crack, six crack, or nine crack. That is a complex Two weight. Characters. We have five numbers in a range with three potential tiles to complete it. Oh, wait. All chow. No. Let's see. We already have a chow in there. Three bamboos. Our weight, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's a side weight. Four Do we have enough points, though? Five. We have three nine flowers. Three. Okay, we're going to test it. We're going to see, because really right now, this is all chow. No f okay, let's try to win on that and see what happens. Mazza. Yep, we got it. So flowers are included in your six-point minimum. Because this hand is only five fawn so the flowers oh you know what the dealer bonus is in here too so that would be six so we weren't able to prove it here because the dealer bonus if you're the dealer and you win you get one if you win by discard you get two all right so here we go we have a Pung in there and two pair. So let's let the white dragon go. Dragon. We have two pair and a Pung. Five bamboos. We, we're gonna have to experiment again. We have two flowers at the moment. We're the dealer. South win. So we're gonna get one fawn for that alone if we win. Pung. Dealer, dealer bonus. Dragon. Okay, there's a nine, child potential everywhere. The two bam and the one crack, Let's or two dot, we'll let the two dot go. Two dots, two characters. Oh my goodness, the difference between ta Taiwanese and American Mahjong. Well, one American one Mahjong, okay, we're, we're not going to take that. We're going to let that go. We don't have near enough pairs. Ty uh, American Mahjong. All right, let's see, seven, eight, nine. We're going to chow. Chow. We'll chow. And then we'll let the one crack one go. One character. Oh, no. Oh. No, Maya, I don't Long think anyone took it that way. Pung. American Mahjong is... Six characters. Probably the, the furthest offshoot from the original game. If, if that helps. One character. We use the same tiles, but... Three bamboo. It is way different than any other version hmm. because of the card that is released annually, Nine and we can characters. only play on those, car, on those hands. Eight and dots. there are jokers. Now. Those, the use of jokers... Characters. is not unique but Six the fact that there are eight of them is unique I believe Malaysian Mahjong has a lot of jokers Three also three. but they're used a little differently okay we have a four five six well let's let the one bam go because we only three. need a pair in there we need another chow three in here dragon. we're one away from ready again with all chow, all chow is three. Wait, East wind. wait a minute. Oh, we have no honors. Four dots. All chow with flowers hmm. or honors is three. Dealer, one dot. Bonus is one, so that's four. And then the flowers would be six. So let's East try. Wind. If we can win this, we'll try. East wind. Oh, somebody else won. Ooh, do they have pairs? Seven pair and a triplet. They got it. Wow. Very nice. 
they took first place on that. And it was only four games. Very interesting. Oh my gosh, they're seven pair. Wow. And they were waiting on the, the, the dragon, the green dragon. So with seven pair, you need to have eight pair ready to win. That's, that's how you build that hand. You push for eight pair, and then you're ready to win on any one of those to be the pwn. I tried that. I tried to play seven pair, and I messed it up because I claimed a discard for a pwn because I didn't realize that you, you had to do it all concealed, and the winning tile had to be the pwn. So I went round and round with Slava, but he set me straight. <laughs> Yeah, that was really nice. All right, so we'll wait for others to join us now. Oh yeah, the other thing that differentiates American Mahjong from Asian versions is the Charleston. There, there are two other versions that do a Charleston and that would be the British version, which is called Western style. And then also Wright-Patterson does it. But I saw some young kids playing Taiwanese Mahjong, and they did a version of the Charleston. They did, I believe they did three right passes. Right, right, right. And then they played. It really surprised me because I didn't, I'd never heard of an Asian version with a Charleston. So it was interesting. And it was three tiles. So I'm not sure if that was a house rule or some other version of the game. I don't know. Peggy, this is a hard game, especially if you don't know the scoring quite yet because of the way the, it, it seems a little overwhelming when I first look at the scoring card because of all the wins. But if you break it down, it's not too bad because if you think of a single weight or a one tile to complete a chow, it could either be a single weight where you're completing a pair, an edge weight where you need a three, or like if you have a one, two, three chow potential, or seven, eight, nine chow potential. Any one of those type of chows would be an edge weight, or a potential closed weight where you need the tile in the middle. Those are the weights. And then last tile in the wall, self-pick, Discard, if you win by discard, you get two. And then if you're the dealer. Oh, there is dealer repeat. It says right there, under win. And then also, if you win within five discards, you get 10 fawn for that. If you win within five to 10, you get five. Now, I believe that is one round. I don't think that's five of your own, meaning 20 discards. It's five tiles out, I believe. So basically, you would need to be very close. You would need to be ready to win on draw, basically, with your dealt hand. I'll have to double check that, but I believe that is correct. Oh, the other interesting thing about this version is more than one player can win on the same discard. That could be painful for the discarding player. So if you haven't downloaded the, the quick reference, look in the video description below for this. No chicken hands. I mean, yeah, you can't. There's no, no chicken hand with Taiwanese. Oh, thank you, Sue. <laughs> I'm putting myself out there, mistakes and all. <laughs> so just uh, 
of hoping not to get judged too harshly. So, yeah, to thank you, Dan. Total discards, yeah. So you basically have to be ready to win because five discards would be that kind, uh, that may or may not include your own no, 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 that, that would include, could include your own pick from the wall. So you could pick from the wall, and then there might be more discards after you. For example, if East, if East is on your left, and they discard one, and let's say that you have one discard, otherwise you're ready to win on all chow. You pick a tile that makes you ready. You discard. And then in the next three discards, if you win, then you get that special bonus. I wonder if your hand could be anything, any, any combination of pungs and chows. It doesn't specify. Maybe we should look at that. So for example, it doesn't have to be all chow. It could be any combination of pungs and chows, as long as you're ready to win. That's kind of like a chicken hand. They don't call it a chicken hand, but in essence, that's what it is, because there's no value in the hand, except for the fact that you are ready early. And it also doesn't specify if that is concealed or not. It doesn't say whether or not you have to be concealed. So conceivably, you could have a pung or a chow in there. One, probably, because then that would mean maybe one or two, because then that would require more rounds of discards. Yeah. I. Although I've, I've seen people ha have a ready hand. I've seen people at Richie Mahjong with Richie in the very first discard. It's, it's crazy. But it, it does happen. It is possible. But I think it's rare. And that's why it's a limit. Well, it's not limit score, but it's, it's uh, 10, which is pretty high. Okay, we just need players. Hopefully someone will join the table. Create a zero font table? Okay, well, I don't know if I can. I can try. Let me see. So let me leave. Oh, you know what? That said zero minimum point. Oh, wait. Okay, what in the... Okay, we're going to close that. There are zero point minimums here. So let's join Hua Line. Let's join a minimum table with one. I don't know how you pronounce these. Feng Yuan, something like that. Let's join this one. Feng, Feng Guan. Feng Guan. Zero points, it says. Feng, Feng Guan. Feng Guan. Oh, okay, create one with a low entry. Uh, well, I'll do it as low as possible. The, the, you have to do, I think, a minimum of 250 per game, which multiplies by round. So let me see what it'll allow me to do here. So we're going to do Taiwanese, 250. I will seed. Oh, we could even do quick mahjong. Let's do quick mahjong. 10 seconds, zero point minimum, and we'll call it Yellow Mountain. Yellow Mountain. Okay, here we go. All right, here's the table. Yellow Mountain. Oh, there's Sambino. I'll, I'll make you north, Sambino, so you have time to, to get yourself ready. So we need two more players.
Good thinking, Mary. Thank you. I don't think there's Furitan. Laura mentioned something about Furitan. That is a, a rule that gives you a penalty if you are ready to win on your, and you discarded one of your tiles. Since Taiwanese Mahjong has random discards, there's no way to monitor Furitan. Okay, Sambino, do you need a certain amount of chows with a pair, Pong or Kong? Okay, Sambino, there's a link to the, in the video description below to the scoring. It is different than Hong Kong Mahjong. You, you, if you try for all chow, no honors with flowers, you, you'll probably qualify to win. Oh, we have zero point minimum. You can win with anything. We have a zero point minimum here. Zero point minimum. Yes, you can win by having chows. That would be all chows. You can have all chows with flowers or honors for three fawn, or you could have all chows without flowers and honors for ten fawn. Here, you can have anything though, because we made this a zero fawn table. You can win with anything. So in essence, that would be a chicken hand. Honors are wins and dragons. Wins and dragons, any combination, that is an, those are honors. Those two types of tiles together are honors. The one through nine would be the suited tiles. Yes, that is correct. You got it, Sambino. So we just need one more player. And this is a quick Mahjong, just one game. I have to remember to create a table when playing this version. I think that's a good way to do it. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, I need to. Um... Okay, here we go. Okay, good luck, everybody. Okay, we have single wins. We're the dealer, so we need to discard first. We have two pair and lots of child potential. So I say we let the winds go. Nor we have one flower. We're the dealer, so if we win, we'll get a fawn there. So at the moment, let's say we have two fawn. If we go for all chows, no honors, that would be four plus our two with the flower and dealer bonus. That would be six, so we'll test Nine it. Dots. Oh, and it doesn't really matter because we can play a chicken hand here. One character. Which is no value. Red dragon. We'll just go for the quickest win possible. West so there's dragon. seven, eight, nine, pair pair of ones. We have a five, Red six, dragon. seven chow. We have a three, four One potential dragon. chow and a seven, nine. We've got lots of potential in here. Red dragon. Red dragon. Six dots. South wind. West wind. Okay, there's a keeper. South wind. We have a one, two, three, or two, three, four in there. Or we could break it up and do two different potential chows. One, two, potential chow. Three, four, potential chow. Seven, nine, potential chow, all in bands. Red dragon. And then we have over here... North Two wind. potential chows. There's some help. We've got redundancy in here. We have a pair of ones already. So let's let the seven crack seven go. Characters. We have a pair already with one dots.
We have one chow with seven, eight, eight, eight nine. nine. We have a chow five, six, seven. Nine characters. East wind. Punk. Okay, so any honor, which are our winds and dragons, you get a, a fawn for that. So chow. there's one fawn. They have no nine flowers nine. right now. Let's well see. Done. No flowers is a fawn. We have a pair, so we're going to stay with a pair. There's a potential chow in there now. So we have some... Let's see. Let's let the one go. One bamboo. We have a two, three, four right there. We have a five, six, seven, and a closed mm. weight with the one, three. Maybe the nine crack can go Eight next. Dots. We'll see. Oh. He might be trying for all Pung. Or he could be trying for Chicken Hand. Six characters. I'm trying for all Chow. Oh. We're trying to go for all Chow. Six dots. Six dots. And we already have a 789, so I'm not going to take that. Okay, now there's a chow right there. Let's let the nine crack go. Nine We're ready to win on a closed weight. Two crack. Two, three, four, chow and bam. Seven, eight, nine, chow nine, bam, and bams. One, three, closed weight. We need the two crack. Five, six, seven, nine chow. Characters. Pair of ones. Seven, eight, nine, chow. Oh. So we're ready on a close weight. North wind. And we are concealed right now. That's a fawn right there. Five dots. We need a two crack to win. If we draw it, that will be fully concealed, and Chow. that's two fawn. Two characters. That's it. Mahjong. Mahjong. Oh, we got a, we ranked up. We got a green belt. Woohoo! Okay, now this was nine fawn. Chow hand, no honors, out on one chance chow. That would be the closed weight. We won, um, let's see, uh, as a discard. So we got two for that. And then we have concealed hand, dealer bonus, and a flower. Oh my goodness. This, this game will really keep you on your toes. We'll do one more. We'll play one more game. That was pretty fast. I think Chow's is the path of least resistance. You just discard redundancy and you keep, you block it out basically. And you discard isolated tiles, keep efficient tiles three through seven because you can build either up or down. We'll see. It seems to be working. Yep, this is it. Uh, Yellow Mountain, Sambino, we're playing again. There he is. Oh, okay, so I'll, I'll go ahead and take north because, uh, oh, shoot, I meant to do east. I wonder if I can, no, you can't un unassign. Okay, so we'll make Mary south. And then Sambino can be uh, north. And then, oh, oh, it's already taken. Okay, then we'll make him west. All right, we just need one more player. So we're a green belt now. That's nice. Oh, thank you, Dan. Okay, so we just need one more player. And this will be the last game. Oh, thank you, Evelyn. We just need a player. All right, so since we're waiting, I'll just bring it up. The next live stream is going to be Monday night, four-player game, American Mahjong, 
7 p.m. Eastern. That's the plan. Here we go, Redwoods. They got a vintage Mahjong tile there. So we need them to be east. All right, here we go. Excuse me. Oh, we got pears in there. Oh my goodness, we got a pung. We have one, two, three pear and a pung. We should play all pung here. All pung. Sound wind. If we can get concealed pungs, that would even be better. We have one concealed pung with the three at the moment. If we can get another concealed pung, that would be additional score. Pung. Two concealed pungs is two points. East wind. Or two fawn. Okay, there's a six. We'll keep it and let the west go. West wind. All pung is ten fawn. East wind. And we have one, two, three, four pair plus a pung. That would fit that guideline of five dragon. pair. Okay, so let's let the white dragon go. White dragon. So we have all number tiles now. So when working with no pungs, win. one theory I'm working on is to keep edge tiles. One, two, three, seven, eight, nine. Let four, five, six go. Because most people are going to be playing chows where they hold the efficient tiles four, five, six. In this case, we have players with Chow. pungs, so that may not work. One character. We might be able to do seven pair here. Green One, red. two, three, four, five, six pair right now. South wind. There's a seven. Oh, let's see. Chow. One, three, five, two, one, one. We'll let the one go. One done. I just kind of went back on my word Chow. there. No, because we have all edge tiles. Would you throw a three crack if you get all pairs? I think so. I think so. We have one, two, three, four, five, six pair right now. Chow. So we'll just see what comes first. West wind. If we pair up again, I think I would try for seven pair. Two bamboos. I think I was overthinking it when I played when I tried it the first time. Three characters. Okay, we're not gonna take that. Sounds to play seven pair plus a pung, you the goal is to get eight you eight, eight pair, which can include a Kong. Seven bamboos. But let's see here. Okay, let's go ahead and pung. We're going to go for mm -hmm. pungs. We'll go for pungs. Eight bamboos. Because we're playing at a chicken hand table. There's already somebody with three blocks out. Three bamboos. It takes longer to build a, a seven pair with a pung. Dragon. Okay, so what is out? The three, we can use that three. Three is out in a chow. Three dots. Eight bamboos. Five bamboos. We have all the pairs we need here. One dot. We just need to pong. Nine bamboos. So these single tiles can go. Two bamboos. Eight bamboos. Five bamboos. There's a keeper. Two we have two dots. concealed pungs. That's two fawn. One bamboo. Let's see. Yep, two concealed two concealed pungs. One dot. Two concealed pungs. We're we're not quite ready to win yet. Two we need dots. one more. One more. Four is out. Four characters. Seven dot is out in a chow. Five dots. Chow. Oh. Four characters. They're getting close. Nine dots. 
We're not going to take that. We're playing Pungs. North wind. Five characters. Two dots. Nine dots. Pass. Three bam. Three we need a four bam, bam, seven crack, or eight dot. West wind. We're waiting for. S oh, they got Mahjong. Very nice. So let's check it out. That would be Mary. Five fawn. No honors. Winning. Flowers. Self pick. <laughs> okay, kudos to Mary. Genra. All right. That's going to do it for this live stream, guys. I only have an hour tonight. So sorry, I can't play more. But I think I'm learning the best way. You can't really read about Mahjong. You got to get in there and get your hands dirty and play. So I think I'm learning. The lesson learned for me tonight is all chow is the path of least resistance. For all pung, you need five pair from the beginning. For seven pair, you need eight pair ready to win on any pung. Those were the lessons learned. You're welcome, Dan. This is a fun style. It keeps you on your toes. Don't forget to send me an email if you want to try Mahjong Time Out if you haven't tried it yet. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks beekeepers. Also, I forgot to say thank you to the moderators. I do appreciate you, even though I did forget to thank you before the outro. Have a good weekend, everybody.